Hey Cal fans and welcome to this week's football film study on California Golden Blogs where I'm previewing TCU's defense. Today I'm going to look specifically at how Texas attacked the Horned Frogs and at some things that we can take from their game plan. To start out, we need to understand a little bit about how TCU's defense works. TCU is very much a system team. You always know what they're going to run, and what they run is base 4-2-5 defense with two cornerbacks, three safeties, and a six-man front. Another important feature is that they lean almost entirely on split safety coverages like the one that we see here. They're going to line up with two safeties playing 10 to 12 yards off the line of scrimmage, and then they're going to play a variety of matchup zones that are somewhere in the cover 2 or cover 4 area. The heart of TCU's defense is really those three safeties, which they call the strong safety, the free safety, and the weak safety. When you first hear that TCU plays a 4-2 defense, you might think that they only have six run defenders and that it should be easy to run against them, but in reality, the six box defenders are mostly worried about outnumbering the five offensive linemen and then spilling the ball outside to the weak safety and the strong safety on the edges, who are going to work as your seventh and eighth defenders in the run fit. On this play, for example, we can see how quickly their weak safety is able to get down to the line of scrimmage in order to defend the run. In terms of alignment, the strong safety and free safety will always travel together and line up to the same side of the field, going to whichever side has the most receiving threats. The weak safety will then line up opposite them. And what this really does is create two three-man units with a cornerback, free safety, and strong safety to one side, and a cornerback, linebacker, and weak safety to the other. With the way that TCU's coverage is set up, these two units will match up against the first two receivers to their side. So on this play, the cornerback, strong safety, and free safety will be responsible for these two receivers, while the cornerback, linebacker, and weak safety over here will be responsible for this wide receiver and the running back. The linebacker to the strong side will then open up to whichever side the third receiver goes to, and in this way TCU can guarantee that they'll always outnumber the offense's receiving threats 4 on 3 to one side of the formation and 3 on 2 to the other. Attacking this defense then becomes all about manipulating this structure that I've just described. For example, we remember that the free safety, strong safety, and cornerback will travel to the side with the most receiving threats. Against this formation, that means that they'll travel to the two receiver side, leaving TCU with their six box defenders and the weak safety. If you're Texas, then you want to get those six front defenders blocked, and then you want to exploit that space in between the weak safety and the strong safety, which they do here by using an H-back, think McMorris here, to overload exactly that part of the field. Texas then runs an RPO, where the screen holds the free safety and strong safety out wide, and the ball then cuts back away from the weak safety for a solid workmanlike gain on first down. Texas was also able to make some good calls against this defensive structure in the passing game. Remember that against this formation, Texas has more receiving threats to the right side of the field, and so TCU's free safety and strong safety will travel to that side, and the linebacker to that side will open up to the third receiver, giving them a 4-on-3 advantage to that side and a 3-on-2 advantage to the other. On this play, though, Texas is bringing both the H-back and the running back across the formation to the left, giving them three receivers to that side. Remember now that this linebacker is supposed to open up to the three receiver side wherever it happens to develop, and so ideally here this linebacker would pick up the running back and this linebacker would open to the three receiver side and pick up this H-back. The H-back feigns a block on him though before crossing the formation, and so he's going to lose him and TCU is going to be outnumbered to the other side and underneath coverage. Something interesting from the Texas game is that I think that there's definitely room for McIlwain to run some plays against this defense. On this play, for example, we see TCU playing with their six front defenders and then their four coverage defenders over three receivers to the left of the diagram. TCU's playing with four defenders to the right of center, and so Texas takes care of them by pulling the left guard to the right to join the right guard, right tackle, and H-back. 
as we roll the play forward, we can see that if the pulling guard would have gotten a better block on this linebacker, then this play easily could have turned into a 42-yard touchdown run. Now, the second that I mentioned McIlwain playing quarterback, I know that a lot of people get a little nervous, but Texas was able to do something with their quarterback that I liked a lot and that I think that we could apply. Texas ran the same formation as the last play on the next two plays, and by the third one, TC would adjust it in a significant way. As always, we see their six-man front here, but this time they've pulled their weak safety to the backside, putting him right in that lane that the previous quarterback run had targeted. In this case, Texas is going to take advantage of the fact that TCU is only playing with two underneath defenders to the left of the formation by throwing a screen for another nice first down gain. In this way, when TCU adjusted to take away the quarterback run, Texas didn't need to rely on their quarterback to throw downfield, which was often where McElwain got into turnover trouble. Instead, they were able to use him to stretch the field horizontally, getting a solid gain without the turnover risk. If we can do something similar, then I think that McElwain can be a real weapon in targeting TCU split safety coverages like this. All right, that's it. If you want more content on TCU's defense, then check out patreon.com slash burke18. But otherwise, I'll be back here next week with a look at TCU's offense. And until then, go Bears!